Hey everybody, this is Amy and welcome to Become Your Own Favorite Chef. Today I'm going to show you one of my secrets to a very quick, simple, healthy, and delicious side dish to go with any meal. And these are my favorite garlic green beans. So I always keep a big bag of frozen green beans on hand in case I need to whoop up something really quickly like I do tonight because I didn't really plan ahead for dinner. However, you can certainly use fresh green beans. Um, what I have here is a pound of frozen green beans. I took this out of the freezer two or three hours ago just to let it thaw out. Once they're thawed, they're ready to saute. And if you are using fresh green beans though, all you would need to do after you have made sure that those tough edges have been picked off, once those are all clean and ready to eat, you would blanch them to get them to the sauteing stage. Blanching just means you boil the beans for a couple minutes. Once that two minutes is over, you immediately move the beans into a big bowl of ice water. That's called shocking the beans. It stops the cooking process, and then they too are ready for that saute pan. So let's get to the exciting part. Let's saute these babies. Okay, everybody, all you have to do is get a saucepan here, or a saute pan, and I've got this heated on medium heat. And again, for about a pound of green beans, I'm going to put a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Maybe a little more. And I love garlic, you know this. So I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of minced garlic. You can, of course, chop your own garlic cloves. I'm going to let this just barely heat up. We don't want our garlic to burn because we know that gets bitter. All right, once our garlic is heated through, I'm going to go ahead and add our thawed out green beans. Give them just a quick little shake. So as we're cooking these, I'm just going to come in, check on them every couple minutes, give them a turn. And while we're still early in the cooking process, you want to add some salt. So I'm going to add a couple teaspoons here. I want a lot of salt so that flavor gets inside the green beans. I'm going to let them set a couple more minutes, come back and check on them, and we'll do this three or four times until the green beans are ready. Okay, I've let these beans cook for about eight minutes now, so I've come in and flipped them about four times. And you'll notice they're still very green. What you're looking for when you know your beans are finished is that they're cooked all the way through, they're hot all the way through, so you can always just test sample one. Also, test sample before you serve them for your salt content. I like mine salty, so I'll probably add a little bit more. But if your beans ever start to turn brown, you're overcooking them. Brown bean, green beans mean that they're losing their nutrients, uh, their beauty, and their taste. So keep them fresh and vibrant. And let's go ahead and give these a taste test. I know it's going to be hot, but I can't wait. Oh, that's perfect. They need a little more salt, but again, that's up to you. If you don't like them salty, leave it out. But this long cooking them and sauteing them like this, there's still a little bit of crunch, which I like, so they're not mushy. And the garlic, even though it looks like a lot of garlic, it's not too overpowering. It just gives it a lovely, fresh taste, and I love this side. It's one of my favorites, and definitely one I don't feel guilty about. So I hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching Become Your Own Favorite Chef.